In this video, we're going to focus on how we can click on this and what happened then it will download the chart uh, canvas as an image, as a PNG image. And you can see here we're giving it a specific name canvas123. Of course, we will adjust this. We can adjust it to anything we want, but you can see this is the item we have. And if I click again on it, what happens? If I click here, there you are. You can see here the second one, exactly the same name. And this is it. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to download the canvas as an image on a button click in Chart.js. So to do this, first of all, we need to get the default code which you can find in Chart.js3.com getting started. This link you can also find in the description box below the video. So let's copy, once you're on there, copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains the JavaScript of it. I'm going to paste this all in here and once I did that I'm going to cut out this and replace the title with the new text. Save this, refresh and now we have our nice bar chart. What we want to do now is create an on-click button effect or at least a button that will eventually trigger on-click. So just here below the canvas we're going to say button and this button tag we will say download and here we're going to say on-click equals download function so if i save this now we have the button but basically what we're going to do and this is very important to understand is we're going to do almost like a right click and then save as and then here you can see here a download if i save this this file has been downloaded and you can see the file is our file that we have basically our chart here so we're going to do this but how it works is if you understand if you ever have download a image from Google you will click on Google image search and then you click for example an image and then what happens is you will open it in a separate tab and basically then you do a right click and then save image what we're doing is that entire structure but then behind the scene because basically this here save image here happens behind the scene but what we're going to do here is just with download, we will name the file properly. Everything will be done as well. So let's start to do this. So first of all, what I need to do here is to create a function. So I'm going to put in some enter, just some extra space. I'm going to say a function. Download. Then in here, I'm going to start working on it. So the first thing that we need to do here is basically this. Remember, in Google Image, you will open that image that you want to download in a separate image tab or basically in a tab and that's what we need to do so we need to create a tab but that tab is basically a new link with that image specifically so what we're going to do here exactly the same so i'm going to say image link so this image link is basically an anchor tag so we say here document dot create element then here anchor tag a so that would mean that if you would do here that's basically this what we're doing in html but now we do it in javascript we just create that but we only create it like this because we want to make sure that this is what we call behind the scene because if i do here now a console log the only thing what you will find is that we can find this but it will be nowhere near in the html document if i click on this and then click here and download you can see here this but wherever this is, is a question mark. You might say, well, 101. Well, 101 is our line here to it for the console log. But that's fine, because I don't want anything else except that this is all happening behind the scene. The user doesn't have to know anything about that. So the next thing what I want to do then is what is the image or what is the canvas that will be converted into an image? Well, you already figured out if I do a right click on this canvas, this is the canvas I want to pinpoint. But we cannot use the my chart. Well, the my chart has this, but the my chart also does a lot of drawing in the chart. So I don't want this. I only want to have the canvas ID. So to do this, I'll just make a new constant and just say a canvas equals document dot get element by ID. And of course, we're going to just pinpoint the my chart. Just only this here, nothing else. So this here can be removed. Once we have this, let's do a console log. You will see now we have the canvas here. Save this, refresh, and click. There we are, we can see. If I hover over this, you can see here it being hovered as well, or you can see this being highlighted, meaning that it understands that this canvas here is this. All right, so now we have this. The next thing what I want to do here is basically 
uh, let's create the link here. So I'm going to say here image, and then we say here link, and then dot href. And basically, this will be the ref or the link itself that we're going to use. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to say canvas because the canvas is referring to this here, basically this my chart. And then we say here dot, and we say to data URL. And this command here is a canvas command. Pay attention data or letter d with capital d and url in caps lock so then we say here the following i want to do here a image slash png so you could also do jpeg or jpeg like this that could be as well but i will do here just png comma and then we put in here a value between zero and one and basically one means highest quality where the pixel is one to one. So one pixel is one pixel. And if you would do here, let's say 0 0.5, then it would be one pixel equals a half pixel or 0 0.5. So it will be more pixelated. Lower quality is zero, highest quality is one. So then once we have this, what really happens now is we have created a link. And this is a image link. So if I'm going to paste this in here, save that, refresh and click here, and look what we get. We get a image link, but this image link is not a real link. It's basically a encrypted version of the canvas. And you can see here, it's massive, including here, if I click on this, it will keep on going. This is very important because basically, Google sees an image like that. So if you have the URL of the image, specifically of the image, you get this long list of code that basically is an encryption of it. So basically this converts to all of these lines, dots and, uh, colors so now we have this and what we could do here for example is to show you how this looks like because basically this link if you would have that showing here it will convert just only the image itself and then I, I will show you two ways and, and let's see if they work for me this one tend to not work well which is the windows that open and the reason why the pop-up blocker is or basically Google has, or Google Chrome has a built-in pop-up blocker that blocks the pop-ups. So if I do this here, and I just grab the image link, which is this, save this, refresh, click on this. What happens now is the about blank. This is normal because it opens up, but for some reason here, sometimes it, I get the message that the pop-up is being blocked, and right now it's not being shown. Anyway, so you might notice the message that you get here. If you have Google Chrome, then you can say enable it. I forgot to enable it and now it doesn't show but it doesn't matter because what i can do is i can show you that on this current uh, link we can just convert it into the image so what we can do as well instead of windows open we can just say here the following i will say a document dot right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just convert the current item into an image anchor tag so i say source and then here, pay attention here, double quotation, and then here, slash this, all right. But here, I'm going to use a variable, so I need to use here again, single quotation, as you can see here. All right, so pay attention with it, and a plus, plus, because I'm going to concatenate. I'm just putting here some space so you can easily see it. And then I'll just say here, image link. So we have this here, this is the double quotation which is necessary for the source because this is just HTML, but this here is the concatenation in JavaScript. So if I save this now, refresh, and what I will do here is the, uh, well, this one is already uh, common out, so we will open a new tab like this here. I'll just close that. But then if I click now, if I refresh and click download, what happens now, the image, this image here, or this URL, has been converted in here, and you can see now it's a massive image which is in a high pixel uh, version of, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's double the, um, the original size, so it's 1,400 pixels by 700. But you can see here, this is just the image. So if I refresh, and because it doesn't save yet, basically now if you just save image as, because it recognizes the image, that's it. You can see here, or open up in an image, we get the entire image here. We get all of this information. All right, so what I'm going to do here, don't, press back but just press refresh because you're not nothing happened it's just the original item you're in here so this we have now here we have created this but now what I just want to do instead of this 
because this is how it really works. We create the image and then we're going to save this. So I'm going to do here and enter. And now what I'm going to do here is just say image link dot click. When you click on it, what I want to do then is just to save it. So basically then we're going to just automatically save this. I'm going to comment out all of this now, save this. And then here, what happens when we click on it, it will just save the image itself. I click on this and I was expecting it. All right, so I guess I'm forgetting something here. So let's check. So you have here the image click. All right. And then what we want to do here, of course, is the following. So let me double check. Uh, we need to have the image link download. So what I'm going to say here, image link dot download. And what this really does is basically the following. I need to, of course, give this a name. So let's give this a name. Let's say canvas.png. So if I save this, I should expect now a working model. There we are. And now you can see here, this is canvas PNG. If I say canvas123, save that, refresh, there we are. And if you click on it, what happened here, you can see this is grayed out. And if it's grayed out, or at least on my MacBook, it would mean that this background is transparent. And that's basically how we can create this here. We have this the image name. You can give it any name you want. And this is how it works, all behind the scene. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you would also like to learn how you can do it in a PDF file so you can make a PDF report. In that case, I have another video about how to export a chart to a PDF with JS PDF in Chart.js, which is also quite interesting and very suitable as well for making reports.